Good morning, everybody. We are reorganizing the shop today. See how far we get. What we have to get done is get the trailer and the truck back in here. That's priority no, numero uno. Get this trailer in here, because we used to have the trailer parked on this side here, right? Now I'm gonna park the trailer on this side, right up against that back wall, giving us all this extra room at the front here to uh, pull some of that stuff out so that's not buried in the back. I've gotta do it in such a way that I can still get the trailer out if I pull the truck out first, right? Get the trailer out and around the other stuff in front of it. So we'll see what I can come up with. But for now, I'm getting everything from back there moved over to this side of the shop. I'm gonna clean the floor. Here I've already cleaned the floor on this side. I'm gonna have to redo it again. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna get all of that out of here. I'm gonna put the trailer in there right up against the back and see what it looks like at that point. Other than that, I'm just listening to music. Trying to get things a little bit more unchaotic. Unchaoticized. these lines of tape on here to sort of guide me in. This trailer's got to be on the inside of that and the semi truck has to be on the inside of that. They're exactly 10 feet from either wall so I got plenty of space. It's 8 feet wide. So I'll line the tires up sort of along here. I'm gonna have to extend it to the back because we're gonna come all the way back here. So it might take a little bit of wiggling back and forth here getting out and checking, getting out and checking. I'm here doing this by myself so let's get her done. be crooked because it looks straight from up here but I go back there and it's still very crooked. See it kind of looks straight. I need to extend this tape on the floor. Uh, oh wow yeah that's about as, uh, about as close as we're gonna get that. So this is where we can really tell if it's straight or not. It's very close. Very close. See we gotta leave this open. Probably gonna pull it forward a bit yet, so we can get through back here too. But uh, as long as we have this here, access this door. It's a little closer to this wall than I wanted it. I might move it over a bit more. We're close, but uh, not exactly where I want it yet. Very picky. Once I have it in the exact right spot, then I put that marking tape right around where the tires go and where the front tongue post goes, where the, the landing gear in the front goes. It'll square around that. So then next time I back it in there, it's super easy to get it in the exact right spot first try. It's always the first time putting it in a new spot. You gotta... I keep trying. <laughs> There's only so much space, but I brought all the stuff to the front that needs to go to the garbage. Not these things, obviously, but so uh, a lot of this won't be staying. Oh, a lot of the space in front of the trailer will be free. Again, uh, these dog beds need to go to the garbage. I've got old hockey equipment. There's a treadmill underneath this thing that needs to go to the garbage. So that'll all be gone. A chair is garbage. So that's all at the front, ready to go. This on here, here's some extra equipment for in my truck. That'll go into the truck. Just have a couple of boxes I need to organize there. And then these are the tires that I have to uh, 
sort of refurbished for next winter. Those are our winter tires for the terrain. That's why I left them out here, because I have to pull them out anyways and uh, refinish them this summer. So they're nice and accessible. And, you know, it is what it is. At least now I know where everything is because I've touched everything and moved everything again. Still not great, but uh, I'm gonna get the truck in here and then continue uh, decluttering. At least we've got everything moved over here now. We've got this up to the front. We wanted that more in the front, so we're gonna be selling that thing. And the camper in the back, which leaves a whole lot more space in here. I'm actually glad I did that. Because you see the square here? This is where the tongue was on the trailer before. So I couldn't put much stuff here, but now it's all the way back there. Still blocked in but you know it's not just a it's not really a workshop it's more of a storage shop right so everything that needs to be in here is in here so now to get old blue in here and just start decluttering a little bit making it look a little bit better i feel a lot better about this anyways i think this will be a better use of the space that far against the wall there. I want it a little bit closer this way. I want the wheels right up against those taped lines. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get it in the perfect spot and then put tape down on the other side, on the driver's side, so that I can know that I'm exactly where I want it to be the first time. And a little bit of wiggling back and forth here and we'll get her done. There we go. I got it right where I want it. We're gonna still have room to open up the uh, the hood at the front here and then I've got tape instead of doing a whole line along here so I know exactly where the steps should be how far out they should be I put one line beside where each axle should be that way I can tell in my driver mirror right when I'm in the perfect spot and this line here lines up with the mud flap that I can see from up in my cab there so that I know exactly when to stop. It's lined up with that mud flap. And the tires should be right beside these lines. Uh, and now, now that I've uh, organized everything, don't laugh, that mower is being sold. This is garbage here, this whole pile is going. This stuff needs to be put into the truck. These are getting refurbished and back here. Well, go ahead and laugh. I don't care. It's, it's a never ending struggle. I don't work in this shop. It's a storage shop. So if I was in here every day, there would definitely have to be more room to get around, right? And work, but it does what it needs to do for now. Okay, I know, same scenery, different day. Mind blown. I'm gonna take you with me while we get our trailer. Uh, I've gotta get Old Blue loaded up here. It's the next day. It is Monday, Victoria Day. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do as Canadians on Victoria Day. It is celebrating, uh, I guess, Canada's first head of state or Canada's Queen of Confederation, right? Queen of Victoria. That Queen Victoria from way back in the day. We have a whole day dedicated to her here in Canada today. I don't know what we're supposed to do. But uh, is it her, it's her birthday, right? Uh, happy, happy birthday, Queen Victoria. She can't hear me because she's not here anymore. But uh, uh, with all due respect, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do on Victoria Day. But uh, that's what it is today. I believe in the US it's Memorial Day. 
and I don't want to wish you a happy Memorial Day because it's like my friend Troy, he was telling me, he's like, he doesn't know what to say on Memorial Day. You can't wish people a happy Memorial Day because it's not a happy day. It's kind of a somber, sober day, remembering those who have fallen in the line of duty. So I hope you guys had a great day off and that you spent time remembering why you have the freedoms that you have down in the U.S. to our, to our south. Our Remembrance Day is coming in November. I believe that's on your Veterans Day, same thing. All right, Old Blue, let's check your fluids. Let's make sure you're all ready to go. We are headed west. That's all I'll tell you right now. West to a place I have never been before. Have you guys figured it out yet? I'm not gonna admit to anything, okay? So feel free to guess. We are headed westbound in the continent of North America. See if you can figure it out. Let me know down below in the comment section where you think we're going. Old Blue, you're going somewhere new. Along with me. Actually, what's kind of sad is Diesel hasn't even been to this place before. And Diesel's been everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna have everything just in here on the bed. Like usual, we'll uh, set up the whole bed and put everything away when we stop tonight, probably. I just wanna get these wheels turning and get moving. I'm not gonna need those tarps on the trip that way, but they're gonna come with me anyways because I might need them for my reload back. I'm gonna take those with me. Well, so far everything's looking good. I'm gonna com complete the pre-trip inspection on the whole truck, make sure that everything is as it should be. I'm expecting it to be because my post-trip, when I parked it in here, everything was fine. So unless if something like snapped or broke overnight, we're good, we should be good to go. So I inspected it yesterday so that I would, wouldn't run into any surprises this morning. We'll just top up our windshield washer. Perfect. Exactly what I had left in that jug. And it's exactly full right to the bottom of the neck. Wonderful. Now the right signal. Okay. Okay. Check the brakes. The way I check the brakes is I spike the, the trailer brakes. Even though I don't have a trailer on right now, it still engages my brake lights. Brake lights working. Brake lights working. And the truck held good air pressure. Look at that. Right on. All right, let's get that big door open. Let's get Old Blue outside. Let's get the pickup truck inside. Let's get moving. Let's head west. funny that they put those orange signs there to warn you that there's a bump coming and you get there and there's no bump it's just like a regular bump like all the other bumps 
but then they don't warn you about like the earth shattering ones that'll like bend your rims and destroy your suspension those ones they don't put flags by those ones you just you're supposed to see those ones maybe it's just me i don't know Trailer 530, you're coming with me. So what I'm doing here is I'm greasing the fifth wheel. So I dropped the air down so that my fifth wheel wouldn't be touching the trailer, right? Then I backed under the trailer, put those grease packets under there. Now I'm lifting up the suspension. And that'll pop those bags of grease. And as I turn the truck, it's gonna grease the whole fifth wheel. That's it for today's video, everybody. Tomorrow's video, we're gonna be taking off west. It's gonna be fun. Like I said, we're going somewhere we haven't been before. I'm really excited, it's gonna be a, a bit of a hike to get there. Tune in tomorrow, maybe I'll drop some more hints. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then.